Good morning. My name is David Witte. I'm with Adaptive Texas. Um, clearly, I'm a person with a disability. I had polio when I was four months old. I have a developmental disability. I began my rehabilitation history in Texas as a, a young, young child in um, special ed. Um, my mother compelled the system to let me go into a normal classroom, which is uh, now called mainstreaming when I was in the fourth grade. There was no such thing as mainstreaming at the time. In my work history, oh, oh I, I graduated from the University of Texas with a, a bachelor's degree in communications thanks to the um, vocational rehab, rehab system, Texas Rehabilitation System, at the time, uh, Texas Rehabilitation Commission at the time. Um, I've had many jobs in my history of work in Texas, mostly in sales and um, um, customer service. And I can tell you that many of the people I worked with over the 30 years of my employment um, were underperforming employees, and that includes management. And none of them made minimum wage or less than minimum wage. None of them were paid less than the uh, prevailing minimum wage at the time was about four twenty-five an hour, I believe, when I started. Um, so I got to say that um, in Texas and in the rest of the country, um, there are only three types of people who um, experience the rehabilitation model that we have, that society has, and that is um, criminals, addicts, and people with disabilities. And I think that's wrong, and I think that people should be paid what they're worth and their value as a human being, not as a person with a disability. Um, and when you underpay people, you're actually, it says more about the person who's doing the paying, about the employer than the employee. People should be valued for being a human being. Um, to paraphrase one of my, one of the previous speakers, if it ain't fixed, don't break it. Well, he was actually right. If it ain't fixed, go ahead and break it so you can fix it. Um, thank you.